They are offering me 15 years in jail for recording this video. What's up, Pata fam? Well, our buddy Mario is in jail. Um, he's reached out to me, and here's the situation. He's been going through it with the police. They've been hitting him up with different charges. They really don't like him. Uh, they don't like his, his recording of them. They don't like his not backing down from them. They don't like him. So they have been coming up with new and creative ways to mess with him. Here's the latest one. Mario recorded himself dealing with a court clerk regarding a bunch of tickets he got, a lot of issues the police have been giving him. He had the phone in his pocket as he's doing his business. That way he keeps a record of what's going on. So they, they actually watch his channel and they went to his channel and saw that he had recorded this clerk and then use that video to come up with charges for wiretapping. And then the day before he was supposed to go to court, they arrested him just so that that would throw him off for the court, thus losing his bail for not showing up for the court date. Oh, they play a dirty game down there in Pennsylvania. Dirty game. And they use the wiretapping law in the state of Pennsylvania, which is a two-party consent state, in order to charge him with a felony. They also use this same law previously, which he doesn't have the video because they took all of his equipment. When he was walking down the street and recorded an incident at a bar, they charged him, I believe, with six wiretap felonies for recording the incident from his cell phone openly on a sidewalk. So they are abusing this wiretap law in order to punish people. So in that state, we have video evidence of police attacking him, physically grabbing him, throwing his stuff around, throwing him around because they didn't like what he said or because they were being recorded and nothing happens. Nothing happens to the police officer, even with video evidence. But you're telling me that recording a public official in the course of their duties supposedly without their knowledge, is a felony? You will get years in prison for you daring to audio record somebody that may not realize they're being recorded while they're in public, acting in their public capacity? This is an atrocity to the judicial system. This is horrible. We have the right to record public officials as they do their job, whether they know they're being recorded or not. That's how we keep check, keep them in check and keep tabs on our public officials. There is no expectation of privacy when you're at work in public dealing with the public. What conversation there is so secret, secret. This is a stupid ass law made up by a bunch of stupid ass people. Anyway, we recorded the conversation with Mario when he called from jail and we're going to play that interview interview for you right now. If you would like to help out Mario financially, or if you know lawyers that could help him out, any, any assistance at all, he would appreciate. You can donate below. The links below are to my, uh, all my different ways to donate. Just put in the notes for Mario and I'll make sure it gets to him. Um, there is no direct link because, well, he's in jail and he wouldn't be able to access it or do anything with it anyway. So if you want to help Mario, um, then that's the way to do it. Please uh, do anything you guys can. This is, a, this is a new auditor. He's being targeted by the police and the judicial system, and we need to band together and help this man out. So here's the interview. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Get, get this video out to other people if you can. We much appreciate it. Shalom. So your your uh, daughter, I think, told me you're in there for this bullcrap wiretap stuff. Can you tell tell me what's going on and how much your bond is and what we need to do here? Well, uh, they got me for going into a courthouse, uh, a public area, of course. Uh, but where my my phone in my pocket is making my GoPro, so I have uh, one cell phone in my one hand, 
it's a bunch of paperwork about five, six pictures of my other. So I put my my phone in my pocket. Uh, and uh, I mean, I was recording. And uh, I mean, recording a public employee is doing public uh, work in a public building. From public uh, lobby. And they waited, they waited until a uh, day before my fourth deposition to arrest me so I can violate my uh, bail. That way I can lose my $3,500. Now they give me uh, uh, reckless driving. They give me uh, not changing my driver license, which they know I, I, don't, I don't have a, a permanent address since I live in my truck. Uh, since I move out of my address, move my driver license address. And they have given me a bunch of uh, tickets before, which they never have any problem with it. I have a video of me going on the driver license and to trying to do that because I have a CDL. Right. It's not able. To, I'm not. I wasn't able to do it any in any other place other than the driver license. And you guys can see the video where I where I go on the driver license and the same officer who arrested me this time who was the one who kicked me out of the driver license center for me going to conduct business and that was one of the business that I was going to conduct that day changing my driver license address but I don't know what to put in my driver license because I've been living like in six seven different addresses since I don't have a permanent uh, mailing address so two years ago I, I bought my house but it's been fixed it's not it's not yeah, I, I mean, I, I have a bed, but I have a, I have a bunch of cats that I, I'm taking care of, you know, wild, wild cats. But I, you know, I go there, you know, sleep sometimes when it's not too cold because no, they have no boilers, you know, boilers off because of the winter. I have a cheddar off, so I have no water, I have no heater, or no heat. You know, the boilers are off, never been used. Right. So I go there and sleep there sometimes. Although I, I have a camper next door to my house, which I, you know, sometimes I connect a little heater. And I have uh, where my where my truck park park, uh, where I have my, my tractor trailer, that's where, I, that's where I be living in. And I have a video too, when they come and to uh, almost kill me in my truck. And I told them specifically, I, this is my house, this is where I live. But the police are looking at my videos just to create uh, uh, to retaliate, not to help me out in any, in any way. They see the video where I go uh, to the driver license to, to do, you know, that to change, you know, to see if I can do anything with my with my video. But they kick me out. They go into my uh, place of business to because some fugitives took off by my parking lot, and I told them, you know, they wanted me to open the truck, and they thought my house, but. My private residence, you know, my tractor trailer. Uh -huh. And they don't look into that. They're looking at just me going. And I mean, look at look at this. They they just want to silence me. You know, they don't want me around. They don't want me recording. They they doing wrong. You know what I mean? Right. Because if they want to help, if, if they here to help us protect, they they will be looking at all the the times that the people try to you know snatch my phone out of my hand. Police uh, 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 almost running me over. That same officer who arrested me this time, uh, I called him as in, as in one of my vehicles was running me over. You know, when he was rushing to a, to a place, I was before this other officer across the street. So he came rushing and, you know, almost running me over. You have, you have the you How know, much is your bond right now? Uh, uh, How much is your bond? What was that? How much is your bond? Well, my bond is thirty thousand dollars for this last offense that they uh, for my video that I recorded on December nineteenth. You know, so, I, so they've been working, they've been sitting around watching my videos, trying to get more uh, uh, violations. And I mean, I have all the evidence there for them to to you know to. It, 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 they hurt each other, not to, not to uh, affect each other, because the police is the one who violating me. I am just recording videos for people to see what police do to people who want to record videos in public. 
this, so, is what, this is what we have to go through in Pennsylvania when we want to uh, show the world what the Pennsylvania State Police like to do to people who just record. They are offering me 15 years in jail for recording this video. Wow. So you... For why is that a violation? And that's because you recorded in the courthouse that this... this you're not talking about the wiretap from you recording that lady walking outside in the, the bar that got into it at the bar. This is a different charge, right? No, that's one that's that's one charge that I'm fighting right now. But I mean, you is know, that, that the reason you're in jail? Is. If is that the reason you're in jail right now? No, I'm in jail right now because they they got another video on December nineteenth when I work in the courthouse. So you're in jail right now for recording in a courthouse with your phone when they when you weren't supposed to supposedly, and they got you in wiretapping for that. Yeah, because they say that I was supposed to uh, let the the, the uh, public employees, who the lady, her name is Rachel I think, or Rush, some uh, I forgot her name, but I was supposed to tell her that I was that I was recording her. When I have my phone in my pocket and my phone packet, when everybody can see it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I went to take care of the, the, the ticket that I got from the highway when they arrested me at the highway. So I went to plead my guilty to that ticket. So I wanted, I wanted evidence that I went there because every, you know, since I don't have a permanent address, since I have my address, uh, they send me uh, tickets and everything to the driver's license or my license. I mean, the address of my driver's license. So I wanted to, to record because the other day I went to pay my taxes and they couldn't find my taxes. They, they, they said, no, you, you didn't pay your taxes. But that's the video where I went to the, to the post office to buy the, the money orders. So everything I do, I record for my own evidence because when you go to ask for videos, they never exist. Yeah, exactly. So I have video. I have, I have proof. You know, I have no witnesses. The only witness that I have is my videos. Yeah, I so get, I get it. Creating evidence. Yeah, th those courthouses get nasty, man, with those judges' orders and crap. It, it's, it's. I kind of don't know exactly how to but, navigate with the courthouses when they go to this length, you know. When they, when they, you know, I usually uh, back down because I don't want to. I don't have the money to fight with the lawyer, and I mean that's a higher level, you know what I mean? With with a courthouse, because they're judges. You're fighting judges that have friends with yeah, other it's, judges. It's, it's actually, it's actually the law leads to the courthouse. It's not, it's not. It's, uh, it, it, I mean, here in Pennsylvania, where I live, it's not like that. You know, it's not like you can go to the yeah i i get it that you want to record i get it but i i'm just saying i don't i don't know how easy it would be to fight it i don't think it's right either but i don't know how how we can i mean obviously if you're recording on the sidewalk that's a much easier fight to win versus a courthouse when you're fighting a courthouse, you're right. fighting lo judges that want to protect other judges. So it becomes way harder, if you get what I'm saying. Right, yeah. So, I didn't post bail because I ain't know. As soon as I post bail, they're going to come with another one. You know, because they're looking, they're sitting, they're sitting down, watching on my videos, trying to create uh, violations, trying to create crimes. Yeah, I told you they would try to wear you out, man. I told you that. So they're going to try to, that, that, remember I told you that's their tactic is to give you so many problems that it just wears you out. That's exactly what they're doing. Even if you beat them, they just want to wear you out. So I, I know I know that that's a tactic that they're going to do. Well, what I want you guys to do is just grab my, grab my videos and show it. You know, just post it, you know, send it to, you know. Uh, do your own thing with them, you know. Just, yeah, I posted one that you that one about the post office. I've recently posted that one about the cop that we found, the one that first messed with you. I put that video out there, uh, like uh, yes, two days ago or so. And I kept calling you, trying to reach you, and and uh, 
Even my wife said maybe well, something day, happened. The day that I was talking to you, remember the last time that I called you? Yeah. That I told you I have a cop on my tail. No, I didn't hear that part. I just, I just, I, I didn't, I just said I call you back, and twenty minutes later I called you back, and you didn't answer because I was just waking yeah. up, but I didn't hear there was a cop there. Oh shit! I'd have stayed on the phone, man, if I'd have known that. I was just waking up, and I ex I hit answer on my Apple Watch, and I meant to hit decline so I could get up and then call you back when I got, when I woke up, and I accidentally hit answer, and I heard you going hello, hello, and that's when I said, Mario, let me call you back. I got up, called you back in about twenty minutes, and you didn't answer. Yeah, the thing is, they 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 took. I had a paper with your phone number, whatever. You know, what all you guys' phone number. Because I know I they were gonna take my cell phone. And I owe my contact. And they didn't they didn't even let me get that paper. They didn't let me use my uh you know when you get arrested you, you have the right to to call your lawyer. Oh man, they didn't want me to call anybody. Right. They called me when I was when I was in the prison and the cop had my, my phone and his hands. I said, Mario, which one of these uh phones are recording? That's what my and, Cool. So I answered his phone. I was like, "You're on the prison," and they fucking got pissed when I answered the phone call. You know, because they didn't let, they didn't want no one to to know that I was arrested. That way, I can get in communication with no one. You know? Yeah. I mean, I, I took it took me about a week to get my daughter's phone number because I don't have it. I had it all written down. Yeah. Jeez. Ah oh, man. I have I have, a, I have a core, uh, my preliminary is on the February 16th, so I have to go for this, for this last charge, you know, for the drunk driving, for the warrant of violation, intercepting communication, all that stuff, so I have to go on, the, on, on February 16th. I have my trial for my first case, for the one on October, on October 9th, I have my, uh, on, on April 6th, so I'm going to be here. Until I get, I can find a good lawyer, you know, that want, might want to take my case, you know. But the yeah. thing is, I, I ran out, of, I ran out of money. You, you know, even if for that, I'm gonna have to sell my house. I'm gonna have to sell my tractor. And it's not easy to sell, you know. Like, like right now, nobody's buying. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Um, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna need you guys to, you know, post these videos. Maybe somebody can, you know, look at the keys. You know, hopefully we can find it. Do you have you have new videos you want me to post, or do you want me to just talk about the videos you already posted? Yeah, no, I, I don't have any any good videos because I'm in jail. They have they have my 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 equipment. You know, unless I can have my daughter send you you know whatever she can find, but she's already busy working and trying to you know get you know try to move on. You know. Yeah, man. And, uh, Jeez, bro. She's working, she, she, she's working, you know, uh, full time and a part time too. That way, you know, we can get ahead. I mean, she's trying to help me out in any, any, any way possible, but I'm trying to live in it, you know what I mean? And money is not even around. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Well, I. So, yeah, I, I just want you guys, you know, to do that, you know, just before, you know, the police is going to fuck with my channel, you know that. Yeah. You know, you try to grab many videos as you can and, and do it, you know, do, do your thing, you know, try to get the world out, you know. Yeah. What, what, okay, so what What? Uh, jail are you in? Give me any details you can about where you are and any numbers or, or any information, like anybody that can reach you or help you. Huh? Lucent County Correctional Facility, Pennsylvania. Lu Lucent, Lucent County? County? Spell it. Luzerne, L U Z E R R N E, Luzerne County, Correctional Facility. Okay. Got it. Wilkesburg, Pennsylvania. I'm at 200 River Street. 200 River Street. Okay. Yeah, 200 River Street and Wilkesburg, Pennsylvania. All right. And Mario Castro. Another thing I was gonna, I was gonna uh, tell you, shit, I forgot, but I, I might call you tomorrow, maybe at this time, if it's, if it's okay. Yeah. More information, maybe. 
So they got you a fat, the wiretapping. I don't know if wiretapping counts even in a courthouse. That's a that's an administrative order. I don't. I, I man, I I'm not a lawyer, but I'd need a lawyer to look at that one. Yeah, look at you know. I, I need to find a good lawyer that who might want to take a look at my case. But I want to take. I mean, even if I'm in jail, I want to take this all the way up. You know, this wiretapping law in Pennsylvania needs to be modified, modified because it's not possible. They they, they recording us, but you cannot record them. You know, every yeah. lobby that you go on in public lobby, they're recording you. So now we need to ask permission for them to be recorded. I don't think so. You know, this, this law needs to be modified. This, this, is, this is what's happening. That people here are not used to, you know, being recorded. That's why there is no victim here. The lady didn't even know that, 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 that she was uh, uh, in, in YouTube, you know, because there is no crime. There is nothing being shared in, 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 in that video, you know. So it's, it's not like I'm going to ask, you know, private information and your know, phone numbers and social security cards and stuff, you know. I'm going to a public lobby to conduct public business with a public, public employee, you know. And when you go, that's public information. If you go to request for that video, they're going to have to give you that video. So what's so, what's so private about it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh, I... I'll look around, Mario, and see if I can get you, get a video out there about this situation and find some type of representation for you. I think it's a bit heavy-handed what they're doing here for sure. But as far as the legality goes, uh, we need a lawyer for this one. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to uh, uh, give you a call maybe tomorrow. It's not Monday at this time. Okay, give me a call. I'll, I'll make sure I keep my phone around me and answer it. All right, bye-bye. All right, buddy. All right, take care. You stay good in there, Mario. All right, I'll talk to you soon, brother. All right, Call me tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye.